Hello everybody and welcome to this week's coding class. I'm super excited to have you guys here because today we are going to be coding a chicken in a farm and a game with food. So let me show you guys the game because it's much easier than trying to explain it, especially as a chicken. It should be popping up there. So on the bottom is a chicken and on the top are two packages of chicken food. If I tap on the package of chicken food with my finger, it drops some food on the floor and the chicken starts walking for the food. If I tap on the other package, the chicken goes the other way for the food. If the chicken reaches the end, he... Oh no, the chicken ate all the food. He's, well, eaten all the food. Press on the chicken and the game starts again. Are you guys excited about this one? I sure am. Let's start coding. So do you guys want to grab your tablet, your computer, or your iPad and boot up Scratch Junior? So we're gonna start with a new project. So go all the way up here, press on that plus sign, okay? We're going to take out Scratch Jr. because we're not using him. So press on Scratch Jr., long press with your finger, press on the red cross, okay? Which you should have nothing in the middle of the screen now. Go up to the backgrounds, so next to ABC, the one that has the blue and the green. Scroll all the way down until you see the farm. So it's it should be on the bottom of, all the backgrounds that you have and the first one here so above the stage above the basketball court the one that actually says farm so it's just green press on the tick box okay and that's all we need so we're going to start uh, putting in some characters go to the left and that plus sign and we're gonna scroll down until we reach the animals uh, here we go so you have all the animals like the pig the horse the dog and you have our chicken so press on the chicken and press on the tick box. Drag the chicken, Press. put your finger on the chicken and drag him all the way down to the bottom of the screen. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to draw our packages of food. So press the plus sign, press on the paintbrush, okay? And now I just drew the packages of food. So let's get an orange color. We're going to uh, go for the squiggly line, so the one here on the top left. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to use this line here, the thickness here, or the one in the middle. And we're going to put our finger here and just draw kind of like a pack. Imagine a package of crisps and just kind of imitate it uh, and make it sure that it's a little bit diagonal, okay? Go to the bucket on the bottom right and press in the middle so it's all colored orange. And now we're going to put a yellow circle in the middle. So go to yellow and kind of just, well, yeah, with your finger, just draw, whoa, what did I do? Oh no, I pressed the bucket. So wait, press on the top left, press that arrow back, go here to under the, the above the circle, go to the squiggly line and just kind of with your finger, just draw a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Go to the bucket and press in the middle of that circle that you guys just drew, okay? Cool? Okay, go to the top and press the tick box and you should have a package of chicken food. Uh, so we're gonna put that package of chicken food up here to the top and to the left. We're going to press on the plus sign under the package of chicken food. We're gonna press on the same chicken food and tick box and we're gonna drag this to the top right. But you'll notice that it isn't exactly where it should be. So it should be mirrored. It should be completely flipped over. So we're going to go to the blue blocks. We're going to go to the move left. So this one here that has the arrow to the left, drag it down and press on it once. And you see how he just flipped? So voila. So here we go. Just drag it a little bit like so that it's more or less on the same place as the other one. And now we're going to make some chicken food. So go here to the plus sign. Go to the paintbrush on the top, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to go to, instead of the squiggly line, the circle. So here, use a circle and go to brown, okay? And now we're just gonna do three little circles. So one like that, one more or less like that here, and one maybe like that, okay? We're gonna go to the bucket and we're gonna press inside of each one of them, okay? So you should have like three little circles, kind of more ovals than circles. 
When you do, color them in and press a tick box, okay? And now put one under this packet and we're going to go to the plus sign again, so here on the left, grab exactly the same chicken food, press a tick box and put it under the other package. So drag it more or less here, okay? Cool, you ha should have a chicken, two packages of food, and two bits of food that are dropping out of the package, okay? And now the last thing we need are these kind of end um, lines just to showcase that the chicken is reaching the end where all the food is. So press on the plus sign under the food, go to the paintbrush, go to red, go to the squiggly line, so the one that looks like a snake, and just drag straight down, just a little line, nothing else, and press the tick box. And drag one to one side of the screen where the chicken will touch it. Add another one, so press on the plus sign on the left, press on the straight line, press on the tick box, and drag it to the other side, okay? So you should have two packages of chicken food, two bits of chicken food falling out of the packages, one chicken, and two red lines, one on each side, okay? Now let's do our other scene. So we're gonna go to the plus here on the right, so under the scene that we just created, create another one. Go to Scratch Jr., press on him, long press with your finger until he wiggles, press on the red cross, go to backgrounds, scroll all the way down, find the farm again, press a tick box, and now that we have our background, we're gonna get the chicken. So press on the plus sign, scroll down until the animals find the same chicken, okay? And press the tick box. We're gonna, so if we're at the screen, it's because a chicken reached the food. So he ate all the food. So he's gonna be a bit fat, right? So let's go to the purple blocks and drag down the grow block. So that's the one with the three people and that last one with this huge white, um, so instead of the small person, the big one, and tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. So that he's really, really, really big, okay? If I did go way too fast, just press pause on that YouTube um, video and, and you can always rewind. Um, Actually, let me know, like go to the Instagram channel if I'm going too fast and just say, do you mind slowing down? Or maybe I'm going too slow and I'm just repeating things. Uh, so apparently my son told me that I was uh, repeating the, the yellow box on the character and he already knew that. So leave that feedback on Instagram as well. Press the scene on the top right. Uh, so go back to the one that has the food and let's start coding. So go to the left and in between the characters and the gray line, scroll up. So put your finger there and scroll up until you see the chicken and press on the chicken, okay? And the chicken needs to do two things, move to the left and move to the right. So if it receives a message from this package, it moves to the left, to the left. And if it receives a message from this package, it moves to the right. Let's go to the yellow blocks. Let's drag down the open envelope. So the start on message, we're gonna keep it orange. Go to the orange block and drag down this stop block, okay? So this tells it to stop what it's doing. And why are we using this block? It's the first time ever we use this block. Because we're the chicken is going to be moving to the right. And if we just tell it to move left, it's going to be moving right and left and right and left, but it's not exactly doing what we want. So we need to tell it to stop moving to the right and start moving to the left. So that stop will tell it to stop anything that it's doing. So it's very useful. We're gonna to go to the blue blocks and drag down the move left block, okay? So receive a message from the chicken food, uh, stop what you're doing and move left. Go to the red blocks and repeat. So it's just gonna keep moving forever and ever and ever until we get a stop um, motion again, a stop block. Okay, so that's what's gonna happen if we press on this packet of seed. What happens if we press, press on this packet of food? Go to the yellow blocks drag down the start on message, so the one with the open envelope, press that arrow under the envelope and change the color to red, and repeat exactly the same. So first, stop what you're doing. So if you're already moving to the left, stop it. Now move to the right, so go to the blue blocks and drag down the move right, 
go to the red blocks and drag down the one with the arrows, okay? And that's all our chicken has to do. Um, if it receives a message from this food, move left. If it receives a message from this food, move right, okay? Now, oops, why am I doing that? Go to the package of food. This is, so make sure, so press on this one and it should be the one that has the white lines on the left. If you're looking at that one, go to the other one, okay? So it should be this one. Make sure it's the one that's now highlighted. See how they change? So it's the left one. Go to the left one and uh, go to the yellow blocks and the start on tap. So that's a block that has the hand and the person. We're gonna tell it to move fast, so that kind of dipping that it does, we're going to go to the orange blocks and the speed block. We're gonna press on the triangle under the speed block and you have the person moving slowly, normal speed and ultra fast. Go to super fast, so the person running. We're gonna tell it to dip down, so rotate right and then rotate left. So go to the blue blocks and drag down the one with the arrow to the right. Instead of one, press on the one and put a three in this little calculator that appears and then tell it to move three again backwards. So drag down the other arrow. So you see arrow to the right and then arrow to the left. So dip right and then dip backwards. So go back to where you were. Press on that one and press on the three, okay? And send a message. So go to the yellow blocks and drag down the closed envelope, the send the message. So in this case, the color was orange because we started with this one, the chicken going to this side if it see, if it, has to move left. So it is the message with the color orange. Go to the red blocks and the one without the arrows, okay? And that's all the package of food needs to do. So now let's code the other package of food. And actually we're going to leverage this line of code. So we're gonna copy it. So press on the, put your finger here on the first block and drag it up and to the other packet of food and let go. Press on the other packet of food and you should have the exact same line of code that we just did, okay? Including this, well, let's drag this out of the way. So put your finger there on the yellow block, drag it out of the way. And this blue block here, you can take it out. So just drag it up and let it go, okay? Now on this one, it should be, so you should be seeing this white highlight on this one. The thing is, it has to tip in the other direction. So we actually have to swap these two. So put your finger here, drag them apart, Drag this, one, drag this apart and drag that apart, okay? So just put your finger on each one and they go apart and now swap these two. Put this one first, then this one, and then the message, okay? So you should have now the circle to the left, the circle to the right, and now the message, press on the triangle under it and change it to the color red, okay? So it now tips that way, then back, and sends a message to the chicken saying, move to the right, okay? Cool? Cool. I hope you got that. So just put your finger on this part, like the blue one, and you'll see that it splits. And if you put your finger on this one, it also splits, okay? Now, go here on the left and choose the chicken food that's dropping out of the package, okay? So the first one, the one right under the package. And you should see, it doesn't really matter, but it's the one on the left, okay? So what's gonna happen here is it's actually gonna receive the same message as the chicken. So go here to yellow and drag down the receive message. So the one, we're gonna keep orange. So it should be the one on the left which is the same message that the chicken is gonna to receive to move left, is the same message that says this one to start to move. We're going to go to the orange blocks. We're going to tell it to move super fast. So drag down the speed block, press that triangle under it, and press on the person running. Press on the appear block. So go to the purple ones and the show block, the one that has one person in white, drag that one down. Tell it to move down, so blue, movement blocks, the move down block. Instead of one, we're gonna put a six. So press on the one, change it to six. Go to the purple blocks and tell it to hide, okay? So that's this block here, the hide block. Okay? 
and we're going to tell it to go back home. So go to the blue blocks and the last one, the go back home block. So this basically what it does is it tells the food to, when we press on the package, start moving super fast, appear, go down six, so more or less until here, disappear and go back home to where you were, okay? Go to the red blocks and drag down the one without the arrows, okay? So that ends that line of code. Now we're gonna code the other chicken food. So we're going to go here in between the characters and the line, drag, scroll up so that the rest of the characters appear, scroll all the way down. So you should see another chicken food and two red lines. Press on the next, actually don't press on the next chicken food yet because we're just gonna copy this. So put your finger on the envelope and drag it up and drop it on the other chicken food, okay? We're gonna press on that other chicken food and we're gonna change the color of the envelope from orange to red, okay? So it should be the chicken food. And what it needs to do is when we press on this package, receive the message from this package and do it only if that package is, is doing it, okay? That's all you need to change. Everything else changes exactly the same. Press on the red line, okay? And this coding is super, super simple. So if the chicken touches it, you lose or the chicken eat all the food. So press on the yellow blocks, start on bump, so bump from another object, go to the red blocks and drag down the one that has the big chicken, okay? Put your finger on the yellow block, drag it to the other red line and let go. So it's copied to the other one. Press on the other red line and you should have exactly the same thing, okay? So it should be working and we're just missing coding the next screen, which is the big chicken. Uh, so let's press here on the right on the scene with the big chicken and let's code that big chicken. So the first thing we're gonna do is record our voice. Go to the yellow blocks, drag down the start on green, drag down the green, uh, go to the green blocks, press on the microphone, press on red and say, oh no, I ate all the food. Press on the record. Oh no, I ate all the food. And that tick box. Drag down the microphone and put it next to the start on green. Go to the red blocks and drag down the one with the arrows, okay? So it's gonna just keep repeating that. You can say whatever message you want as well. Uh, we're going to make the chicken dance. So go to the yellow blocks, start on green again, and now just go to the movement blocks and have them dance however way you guys want. So I'm gonna have them go right, then left, then a little like rotate left, ro rotate right, rotate left, and repeat, okay? So basically he's gonna go left, then right, then left, then like kind of like do a little jiggle and then repeat that, okay? You guys can put as many movement blocks as you want. And we're gonna do one last line of code and then we're done, which is go to the yellow blocks, start on tap. So what happens if we touch the chicken with our finger? So the one that has a person in the finger, go to the red blocks and start the game again, okay? Everybody got this far? Super excited to see what you have now. So let's go up here, uh, press on the first scenery, the one that has the packages of food and the chicken. Go to full screen, so that's the thing in between the house and the one with the squares, the one with the lines. Press on green. And now I'm gonna tap the, the food packet on the right. There we go, down, uh, the one on the left, the one on the right, the one on the left. And now the one on the right. And now I'm gonna let the chicken reach the end. Card. Oh no, I ate all the food. I ate all the food. Card. Oh no, I ate all the food. Okay, and now if I tap the chicken, I can play the game again. What do you guys think? Isn't that a super cool game? Card. I think so. Oh, no. uh, so guys, if you like this uh, coding class, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Every week there's gonna be a new one. Uh, and if you have any comments or anything, uh, just go to the coding down on Instagram where you can uh, send me a message or just code beneath the class if you liked it, if you didn't, what you were able to do with it. Bye, everybody. See you next week.